Hey, what's up guys? Camper Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video and today we're looking at every single change that happened in season 5. And uh, there's a lot of them. So that's why I thought we'd make a big video. Uh, we're going to talk about patch notes, so actually gameplay stuff, but a lot more than that. And I, and I bet there's one thing today I will tell you that you did not already know about. So if you're excited for season five or just enjoying the videos in general, can you touch that like button for me right now and leave a comment down below? What is your favorite part uh, of season five so far? Uh, mine is the map changes 100%. I'm going to finish this video and I'm going to go play some more Fortnite, man. So thank you for all the support on the channel. Let's get right into it. First up here, this one we all probably know, but again, it is a change, is the brand new loading screen. And in my opinion, it looks real good. I just took a screenshot that was online because I, I didn't log into Fortnite yet today. Uh, so there's your loading screen. Most of you have already seen it. And I again, I think it looks awesome. Why not focus on the brand new biome? Uh, because in my opinion, that's the best part of Season 5 so far. I love the new biome. I played two and a half hours last night straight. Uh, just landing Paradise Palms, and I had so much fun. You'll probably be seeing some of that footage in the background. All right, next up, the secret item. This is uh, the item you unlock for winning your first game in Season 5. I got mine last night before I went to bed, the last game, and uh, it's actually a really cool-looking umbrella. This is uh, just a picture from Two Epic Buddies' uh, Twitter account. Uh, I, I could, Again, if I logged into Fortnite, I could have taken it, but again, th this looks awesome. This is probably my favorite winning umbrella that we've seen so far they do this every season and I, I like this one so i'm gonna be rocking it for a little bit because it's just uh it's nice it's pleasing to the eyes now of course the season five battle pass is also brand new and and again i'm not gonna go through all the battle pass we already did a video on that if you want to check it out but i will quickly show you this picture it's uh it's a lower quality picture but it's just from two epic buddies once again and this shows the progression so the tier one of the tier one skins, uh, Drift, I believe, and the tier 100 skin, Rag, 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 I don't know the name of it. I forget the name of it, but whatever it is, the tier 100 skin there is at the top with that cool looking mask, and the tier one skin is at the bottom. I love both of these skins. I absolutely adore them. I think they make the battle pass. Without these skins, uh, this would not be the best battle pass of all time. I've seen conflicted thoughts about the Battle Pass. A lot of people think it's better than Season 4, not better than Season 3. Uh, I, I, I love these skins. That's the, I'm just going to end my opinion right there. I absolutely love these skins. And it's based on, uh, to unlock these skins, it is now based on XP, all right? Like uh, complete XP rather than season level. So it's, it's much easier to track how close you are uh, compared to the season level system. And don't worry, there's a lot more good news coming your way here. Because next up, uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about the new challenges set, okay? And it's it's not uh, it's not much different from Season 4. We've got the Road Trip Challenges set, or the Road Trip Challenge set, the Drift Challenge set, and the Ragnarok Challenge set. So the first one, Road Trip here, is basically the exact same as Blockbuster. you got to complete seven full weeks of, of challenges. And, and each week you're going to unlock a loading screen. And then from that loading screen, you'll find a free battle pass here in the loading screen. And then once you do all seven, seven full weeks of challenges, uh, that is when you will unlock the mystery item, the mystery skin it looks like there. And based on the shadow, what do you think that thing is, man? I have no idea. Uh, but it's a legendary skin. And, and again, it was super hype last season with the visitor and how it added to the storyline. So I hope... The, I hope it's as good or better this season. I can't wait for it. Now, for the Drift Challenge, uh, here's an example of it. This is uh, for the Rift Edge Pickaxe. Again, it works basically the same as last season, other than the fact that now it's about XP, like I said, rather than season level. So uh, you got to complete five. So I guess you got to get to tier five, uh, and you will unlock the, uh, the pickaxe. Scratch that, you have to complete four. That's why I, I took a quick cut there because I was like, wait a second, that doesn't sound right. So you can see there the little bar at the top. It, it's it's five for you to unlock like the full, uh, whatever it is, the, the fully upgraded skin, the drift skin. And man, I cannot wait to do that, dude. I literally just want to grind Fortnite solely for that reason. I need 200,000 XP. It's time to start grinding, baby. Um, and, and, but you only need to do uh, get to the fourth progression to unlock that Rift uh, rift Edge pickaxe. And that pickaxe looks awesome, by the way. Uh, the Ragnarok is the exact same, except it's uh, more XP. You need uh, 500,000 XP to get to that final tier 
uh, progression for the Ragnarok compared to 200,000 for the uh, for the drift. So very similar to last season. Uh, the only difference is really the XP uh, is what you're looking at now rather than season level. You can also now challenge your friends to a game of golf or basketball or volleyball with the, the beach ball uh, with with toys, which is available only in the battle pass. So you can you basically put it on your emote wheel, your dance wheel or whatever it is, and you can go shoot hoops or play ball, play golf. And uh, it's pretty cool, man. I don't know if it's going to be the, the most fun thing ever, but it's something new, something different. All right. Let's get to the patch notes because this is where uh, I might be telling you some stuff that you have no idea has occurred, and it's it's game changing. You should know some of this stuff uh, in order to improve your game and start learning the new meta of Fortnite. And I'm talking to myself too because the the meta is changing and it's changing quickly. But first off, we've got the all terrain cart, the the ATK rather than the ATV. <laughs> so creative, man. So this is uh, it's a four man vehicle. You can drift in this thing, and once you drift, you, you gain speed after the drift. Uh, so there's actually a racetrack in the new desert biome, and that's why the racetrack's actually very cool, because you have to use your drifting properly in order to get max speed uh, and get that track done fast. So there's actually some skill to it. Uh, and also the top of it is used like a, a bounce pad. I believe you jump higher off the top of it. So very, very cool addition to the, the Fortnite game and just another fun item for, to I don't know, to make some cool fights. Next up is the new rifts. And again, this is one of my favorite parts. This is game changing. Um, the amount of rifts I used in my two and a half hour session of playing last night was insane. Uh, these things are located all around the map, I believe, but you're going to find a lot of them in the desert biome. I actually haven't used one in the main biome. I've only seen them appear in game, but I never actually used one. So that's why I'm a little iffy on it. I haven't played enough, but they're definitely in the desert biome on the side of the map there. And what it is, you go inside of it. And then you basically teleport to the top, like to the top of the sky and you pull your parachute. And it's like, you're jumping back in from the battle bus. So it makes it very easy to transport from the side of the map and get in the action fast. And it's going to make that paradise palms, that new desert biome. It's going to make this area stay busy because you can go there, have your fights, loot up and then go to the action, get to the circle very, very quickly. So I'm very glad, I'm very glad they added this thing. Next up, we've got the uh, the Battle Royale map, the Fortnite map. There are some changes. And I, again, I did a video looking at all the changes uh, uh, on the new map. So here's a high quality photo of the map. We've got the new biome there on the bottom right with Paradise Palms, couple unnamed locations. We've got Lazy Links at the north end of the map there, replacing Anarchy Acres. And then we have Snobby Shores at the very big hill. We've got a, uh, a new Viking location. Now in my video, I kept saying the Viking location replaced the evil layer. I was being, I was totally wrong, man. The evil layer is still just to the north of it on the other mountains. Sorry about that. I was tired or something. I don't know why I said that. And then uh, lastly, we've got Dusty Divot uh, has had an update to it. So big map changes again. That's probably been my favorite part of, uh, of the new update. Next up, this one's big, shotguns. Shotguns will now indicate how many pellets hit visible within the reticle. Adjusted shotgun spread patterns to be consistent with no random variation. Heavy shotgun now fires 10 pellets rather than 5. Max damage for it remains unchanged. And after firing a shotgun, another shotgun cannot be fired for a very short time. So, to sum that up for you, double pump's gone. R.I.P. And, uh, and this, this spread pattern, you know how people complain RNG with shotguns, nine damage, this is brutal. Uh, you can't do that anymore because it's no longer RNG. When you shoot the shotguns, it will shoot it, the pellets in the exact same spot within your reticle every single time. So it's based on how much of your reticle is on the player when you take your shot. Uh, so if you get nine damage or you get this certain amount of damage, it's because you did not hit your shot well enough. You missed your shot. All right. So, so I, I'm very, I've been wanting them to do this for a very long time. I like this change. Uh, suppress SMGs basically got a nerf. The details are on your screen right now. Uh, basically from further out, it does less damage. The suppressed SMG does. This one's cool too, and you're gonna. This one might surprise you in game how it works. The center of storm circle seven, eight, and nine, so the final three, can now shift in random directions instead of simply shrinking. As the storm closes in, it will move and shrink to the new location. So, 
it it's it's going to be nice. So you can't just set up this massive thing and camp now near the end. It's going to make for crazy fights. So you'll have your purple square, right? Or your circle. And then the next circle could be outside, like over here uh, on this side of it. So the circle would slowly start shifting and shrinking to this new location. I haven't experienced yet. I haven't been that, uh, like when we won our game, it, it wasn't that late in the game. So I, I can't wait to experience, experience this one myself. This one's cool. You guys are going to like this one. In Season 5, progressive challenges will no longer be restricted to a single season. And, uh, and we already talked about the fixed amount of XP rather than season level. So now, if you don't make it to Drift, you don't make it to the Ragnarok uh, fully maxed up, upgraded skin, You can by the end of Season 5, you can continuously do so in Season 6. A lot of people were sad they didn't get Omega and Carbide. Well, now it's a thing, man. Now it's a thing. Weekly, weekly challenges are now split into two sections, free and battle pass. First three challenges are available for free, while the last four are only available if you own the battle pass. The threshold to unlock the weekly challenge reward will remain at four. Okay, okay. And finally, the brand new Victory Royale screen. This is kind of a lower uh, quality screenshot, but that's what it looks like. It also slow mows. So as you get your last kill, it slow mows the game, and boom, the Victory Royale pops up, and everyone's happy. Well, uh, uh, basically, you're happy. Everyone else that lost isn't happy, but I, I like that they did a little update to that. Keeps it fresh, and the slow motion feature, you're, you're going to see it either watching or when you get your own win. It's, uh, it's super hype, man. It really is so other than that ladies and gentlemen that is all of the important changes that i thought were important uh in season five there's obviously some little bug fixes things like that but if you want to read the patch notes they're down below everything i talked about will be down credited below one more time for me touch that like button if you're excited you're enjoying season five what's your favorite part of season five and uh join the rushers by subscribing have a good day talk soon take care goodbye